Hello, today let's work on another of my favorite exercises. This is an exercise for the bow hand. We sure have a lot for the left hand. This one's for the bow. It's another one by Christopher Bunting, with whom I had the privilege of working a couple of summers and, and of whom I am a, a big fan. He has some exercises that are just different from anything out there. So for this one, which is called flower petals, we're going to divide the bow first in half and then think about half of each of those distances will give us the bow divided into quarters. And then what we're going to do for this exercise is we're going to put the bow at the frog and bow down bow for the first quarter and then at the middle and go up bow for the second quarter, then the middle and go down bow for the third quarter and at the tip and go up bow for the fourth quarter. So we do something like this. At the frog down, then I put it at the middle and go up, then I put it at the middle and go down, and then I put it at the tip and go up. So again, at the frog down, and then the middle up, and then the middle down, and then the tip up. So we combine this with a scale, for example. Etc. And I mean, it's a fairly simple exercise, but it certainly requires coordination, and anything that improves our coordination is valuable. There's no such thing as getting too coordinated. And then the other thing is, it gets you thinking in a way more specifically about bow distribution than some of us, oh, upper half ish. No, no. Really to place it precisely and use just that third quarter of the bow. I think it will help your, the next time you are asking yourself to think about bow distribution. There's one more angle on this, which is that bunting also invites us to do the reverse bow directions. So we start uh, at the one quarter point and we go up bow, and then at the one quarter and go down, three quarters and go up, and three quarters and go down. So we're doing each of the quarters in turn, but we're reversing the direction that we were going. So I'm at the one quarter point and I go up, one quarter point down, three quarter point up, three quarter point down, etc. So some of you may find that one actually a little bit easier than the other. You can certainly start with whichever one and then, then work your way to the other. And for the betterment of your right hand. Hope you enjoy this exercise.